And then over here, um, for the Phantom guys, which we love the Phantoms, we have, this is a retrofit kit. So if you have a Phantom saw, an 18 or 24 or 14, and typically what happens is people's gears are wiped out or the worm gear is wiped out. What we've done is we've cut brand new gears. Uh, we did molds and castings. We've got gears in stock um, and the, also the crossfeed shaft. Many of you, you, this all is locked up on your saws so you can no longer change your uh, belt. So we have replacement shafts, we have replacement pulleys for the step pulleys. We have pillow block bearings. The original bearing for the Highland Park saw was a taller profile. It's not available from anybody. So we made a spacer block. So when you mount this on the back of your saw, it gives you perfect alignment for the gearbox so you can completely retrofit your gearbox on your Phantom and make it work like new. I think many of you already know that we carry a, 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 a Arbor, uh, I'm sorry, feed screws for the Phantom 14, 16, 18, and 24, both the short and the long screws. We also have the uh, retro, the, this is a retrofit dog plate. If you remember the old Phantoms that have that little, can I call it a clamshell? It's like a brass feed nut with a little short handle. Many people have those, it's all worn out. So this directly bolts in to the saw so that you can retrofit your Phantom to the new style feed dogs. And you'll note that we have replaceable inserts, just like we do on the other saws. These inserts can be replaced so that when you wear them out, drop them, I think they're like roughly $50 for a new set of inserts, six screws, boom, you're up and running again. So you can retrofit that. This is kind of just a, uh, a list of stuff. We've got many of the parts for the Frantoms. I'm even working on doing vices for the Frantoms um, as well. We like the Frantoms. Our whole approach, um, it's actually an interesting story that I'll tell. You know, uh, some of our other uh, competitors over the years, when we started doing this back in 2009, 2010, uh, one of our competitors came to us and uh, I was having lunch with them and they said, you shouldn't sell parts. And I'm like, why shouldn't I sell parts? And they said, well, if you sell parts, you're not going to sell new saws. And I said, I understand that, but many people can't afford a new saw. So do those mean that those people can't be in lapidary? Like to me, it exhibited what's screwed up about the industry, which is people are focused so much on selling the new machine that if somebody's got an older machine, they're kind of left out to dry. So my brother and I thought that's kind of crappy. So we have really made it our goal to make as many parts for the old machines as possible. I'd much rather sell you rock than sell you another machine. Because um, it's about the rock, frankly. It's not about the machines. So. Frandom is one of the things we've done. We've done the same thing with the lower tones. We just came out um, with this new carriage um, for the lower tone uh, LS10. This is the new 10 carriage for an LS10. So if you got an old LS10 that's ragged out, you can drop a brand new carriage in it. We've done it out of cast iron. It's, it's just, the wear characteristics of cast iron is killer. It's a lot better than aluminum. Um, so an LS10 carriage, we do an LS12 carriage, which I don't have here because I sold it. Um, and I've got an LS14 carriage. So this is the same carriage we put on the high tone saws. You can drop it into your LS14 Panther. We sell rails. Well, you know, if you know the old Lortone rails, they were like kind of cheap ass gum and steel and they would wear out, you know, so everybody would be turning their rail because it would get worn with the grit. We thought that didn't make sense. So on our high tones, we put a hard steel rail in and we're now selling the rails so you can take your Panther or your LS12 and you can put hard steel rails, drop a new carriage. The carriage comes with a vise um, and the carriage also comes with the feed nut. So it's basically everything you need to go. If you need a new feed screw, I've got feed screw, but this has got the feed nut, the handle, You'll see we've taken a new roller block design. We got rid of that kind of crazy angle iron thing that they did. It's got a fine thread cross feed here, just like the bigger saws, and there's also a brass nut. If you can look underneath there, you can see that's a replaceable brass nut, just like the big Highland Parks. So you can take your old Lortone, drop a new carriage in there. We're actually gonna be doing a video here of an LS10, and other than fixing the arbors, you know, because we use a, a pillow block bearing on ours, you can get your new, your old Lortone to operate 
better than a new saw because the precision on these, since we CNC line bore them, is far more precise than what was available ever of any of the old Lortons.